Hi, I'm Paul DeBartolomeo. Welcome to Fire Engineering's Training Minutes. In this segment, we're going to discuss how to properly set the halogen to conventionally force an outward opening door. In the scale of difficulty, an outward opening door in the rear of a commercial building is probably one of the more challenging forcible entry things we face out in the field. All right? So we're going to go over a couple of things that we can do to maybe make this a little bit easier for us. All right? First and foremost, the overall construction features in the commercial setting of an outward opening door is going to make this pretty hard. We have a metal door set in a metal frame, and the frame is probably going to be set in brick or block. So there's not going to be a lot of give between the door and the frame to get our initial purchase with the halogen. All right? So a couple of things we can do to maybe soften this seam up is compromise the door. All right? We know from door construction that the door is going to be reinforced on the styles in the rails, but the middle of the door is not going to be that substantial. It may be filled with corrugated cardboard, maybe some sound barrier. So if we have our striking member initially come in, you know, say we're working at this lock and just batter the door in the middle, we're going to simulate that, right? crush the door in up and down, Maybe we get a little bit of deflection and deformity that opens this seam up a little bit. All right, so another technique we can utilize just to create some space here between the door and the frame is driving the axe blade in. So Tim's going to come up. He's going to put the, the blade of the axe right in the seam. Zach is going to use the head of the halogen and actually drive that axe into the seam. Hit, hit, drive. All right, now we're going to take a wedge. We're just going to capture our purchase. Give that wedge a little tap. All right, now we've created a little bit of space to go to our next move. All right, so now we're in position to set the ads into the doorstop. All right, as you can see on our Halligan, we have a cut on the ads, right? That's a depth gauge. We know most doors are just under two inches wide, right? So this kind of gives us an indication of when we're at the stop. In this instance here, here a metal frame, we're going to drive this ad's end in. We're going to know when we hit the stop. You're going to feel it. You're going to feel it in the axe and the halogen, and you're going to hear it. But this is just a little, a little additional uh, assistance, if you will, knowing that we've, we've reached step one, we've got the ads on the stop. So Zach and Tim are going to drive this in until we reach the stop. Hit. Drive. All right, so we've got the tool into the stop. This is where a lot of firefighters make a mistake in dealing with this outward opening door. They feel the resistance when we hit the stop and their natural inclination is to start prying out on this door to force the door. All right? The problem has to do with how a metal door is constructed. Now obviously we're working on the prop, this is a wood door, but if we take a look at a piece of metal door, all right, we see that this is wrapped, all right? that the skin of the door comes wrapping around. Right here on the inside edge we have a pinch weld where the two seams come together. If these guys start violently prying out on that seam, they're going to skin that door and they're going to lose all their leverage as we go to try to fail the locks. So what we have to do is slowly transition off the doorstop and actually wrap the ad's end right up to the neck around the back side of the door. So this is going to involve some coordination between our irons firefighter and our striking firefighter. Zach is going to have to methodically start to pry the shaft away from the door as Tim drives the tool in deeper until we come off the stop and wrap the ads around the door. All right, so we've got the tool driven in. You saw as we came off the stop, we were able to wrap the ads around. We want to drive it in right to the neck. Now these guys are in a position 
to finish this door, right? They're gonna, they're gonna pry out with the shaft. We're using all leverage here now, right? Mechanical advantage. So the farther down the tool they go, the more mechanical advantage we're gonna get, the more leverage we're gonna have, and the easier it's gonna be to fail these locks. All right, so just in summary, you know, today we talked about how to properly set the halogen, specifically the adsen, to force an outward opening door. Right? I think the biggest thing we've got to remember is the transition. We're going to drive the adsen in until we hit the stop, roughly two inches. Then we've got to start to methodically pry the tool out away from the door as our partner, the striking member, is driving it around the door, off the stop and getting the adsen around the back side of the door and setting that tool up to the neck. All right? That's going to prevent us from skinning the door, and it's really going to maximize our leverage in order to force this door and fail the locks. I'm Paul DeBartolomeo. Thank you for watching Fire Engineering's Training Minutes. <laughs>